on the one hand, well, we did say that maybe you know you don't don't need that many people, and those folks can go look up other job mm-hmm. jobs. But are those jobs taking shape yet, or maybe it takes a certain kind of education, also talent churned out by our educational system, or a certain type of mind be, to be better equipped to. Maybe create that new job, or be mm-hmm. able to. So I think I always t- I always that. tell everyone um, AI is not going to replace humans, but anyone who is refusing to use AI is going to be replaced. This is the same thing with the graphic designer example. Um, so the kind of openness to these kind of new tools, I think, is a prerequisite for everyone who wants to enjoy life. Um, and to use it, to use it, and to use it well. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have to be open-minded. You have to use it. I think the most ridiculous thing I've read ever is teachers trying to uh, make sure that their kids, that students, don't use AI to write their 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 essays. report essays. Yeah. It's like that's a stupid thing to say. Why? Because the teacher should come up with a story that is so, like, with a with a with a subject that is so interesting, that the general pool of AI information will not be able to generate a good result. That's what the teacher should do. Mm-hmm. Because our future job is to think about those new stories that AI cannot create. Because the boring old stories that most teachers give their kids as homework, well, AI just does a Brilliant job with it. It's for the teachers to wake up and to give more challenging and more forward-looking, more future-looking subjects, rather than telling their kids to stay in the past. 